The battle to stop Sadiq Khan's net zero ULEZ continues to escalate as the central government and Rishi Sunak's cabinet are still considering to block the ULEZ expansion at the end of this month. But will they actually do it? So Sadiq Khan's still obsessed with uh, the ultra low emission zones, despite the fact that we've had a lot of protests, despite the political backlash that resulted in his own party leader, Keir Beer Starmer, to make a U-turn, at least publicly, to say, well, the National Labour Party will not be focusing too much on these clean air zones schemes if they don't have the public's consent. Okay, but Sadiq Khan doesn't really listen up there to any of this. We A while ago, we reported that the government uh, does have the ability to, well, they can, uh, to block the ULA's expansion using central powers. Uh, but also how they're considering it. But will they actually do it? This is the main point, because uh, we have Mark Harper, who is now in charge of transport. He was also very good during the lockdown days. Mark Harper was one of the few MPs in the House of Commons who was part of the anti-lockdown movement. Uh, he made sure that, you know, the, the central powers don't go too far. Well, how did that go? <laughs> and now he's in charge of transport in uh, Rishi Sunak's cabinet. But what's going to happen now? Because they have a couple of weeks left. Uh, till the end of uh, August to do this if they want to do this. Now, Christopher Hope from GB News said that uh, Transport Secretary Mark Harper has indeed taken legal advice and got the government lawyers involved to see if he can stop the ULEZ expansion on the 29th of August in London using existing law, which appears to allow him to do so. Now, so far, um, Harper decided not to act based on the advice, but will he regret it? So, I'm not really sure what the government are playing at at this point because uh, this will be a very popular move if they do this obviously and also it's a very logical move to do but will there be a political backlash are they scared of the backlash or do they really not want to do anything about it so they had previously used central powers to stop Nicola Sturgeon's SNP government uh, from introducing the gender reforms the gender bill whatever it was called um, and uh, will we now have this so how can they do this well, there's one easy mechanism for government lawyers to focus on existing laws. Look at the government legislation. Greater London Authority Act 1999. Now, this was to obviously devolve powers more towards London and obviously then have the London mayors and the elections and everything else. But there are a number of sections in this and different chapters. This one is about, uh, part four is about uh, transport and transport functions of the London Authority, Greater London Authority. Now, when you look at 143, you can see decisions, uh, directions by the Secretary of State, who is now Mark Harper, where the Secretary of State considers that a, uh, the transport strategy, or any part of it, is inconsistent incons with national policies relating to transport, and the inconsistency is detrimental to any area outside Greater London, he may direct the mayor uh, to make such revisions of the transport strategy in order to remove the inconsistency as may be specified in the direction. The second point also says that where the Secretary of State gives the mayor a direction under subsection 1 above, uh, the mayor shall revise the transport strategy in accordance with the direction. So this is quite plain and simple. We can see that this is a similar function in terms of this act compared to the the act of scotland it's the same thing that if uh, something that's introduced by the devolved powers if it's not consistent with the rest of the country it affects it if it, it affects the rest of the country or national policy then the central government can act on behalf of the nation and stop them so we have the checks and balances will they be used let me know in the comment section now, Mark Harper said recently, uh, to responding to Keir Starmer making a U-turn on ULEZ, saying, the same uh, Sir Keir who's okay with his mayor, Sadiq Khan's ULEZ expansion, to punish the poorest. Two-faced Starmer changes his mind as often as the wind and will say anything to try and get your vote. You can't trust the word he says. No principles, no clue, no way he can lead our country. It is funny coming from a <laughs> the central Tory government uh, when it comes to no principle and <laughs> all the U-turns that they make as well. So yeah, pot kettle here uh, from Mark Harper. But he makes a good point. Obviously makes a good point. Now, there is still the an anti-ULEZ uh, movement coalition. Make sure to check out, obviously, 
the the stop you less uh, coalition you stop you less net and uh, one of the main areas is of course uh, for you guys to get involved there's a petition there's also the mailing list uh, which they will tell you about all the events and uh, the strategies and the policies and everything else that uh, the stop you less coalition will come up with if you want to get involved feel free to check out their website and we're going to cover this uh, as we go because we still have a couple of weeks left to find out if the government will indeed um, block City Khan's Euler's expansion. Let me know your thoughts and your predictions. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.